Hello once again, my name is Luke Rosedahl. Thank you for joining me for my video for the Sherlock. So first of all, this is the condition I always film my videos on. It was fresh, I even warmed up on a different lane. I use the same pattern for every video so that you can see hook differences from ball to ball and video to video that you may not see if I use the quote unquote correct condition for every ball. That being said, obviously this is nowhere near the correct condition for this ball. I use my favorite layout again, 65 by 5 and a quarter by 40, and you may notice I have a weight hole in this one, and that's because the CG was pretty far to the right. It ended up ended me up with about three quarters of an ounce, too much positive side weight, so I put the hole on my axis. Now, anyone watching this video, myself included, would think, okay, well, you have a strong ball in a dry condition, so just take some hand out of it, or throw harder, or both, um, and I did. I, you know, I said in my video for the No Rules Pearl that it was the strongest pearl I've ever thrown, and this may be the strongest ball I've thrown, period. Not only am I as deep as I can get without lofting, I've also taken a significant amount of hand out of the ball and, and actually throwing it harder despite how slow it may look like it's going. Part of how much this ball hooks is in how much it slows down, and it slows down without burning energy somehow. Something that continues to impress me about bigger hooking balls like this recently is how much better they respond to friction. Now, it used to be that bigger hooking balls would get very chuggy and pukey and then they'd burn up and they'd hit like marshmallows. But this ball is indeed rolling very heavily and slowing down pretty quickly, but several shots I let go of that weren't the greatest, you know, that I expected to leave me with a flat 10 or maybe a weak mix or 7, they actually ended up sending pins flying everywhere. Now, I'm sure that there have already been several shots that you've seen on this video that you thought needed help right off my hand, only to surprise you with the result, and that's what stands out to me about this ball. The, the hook is impressive, the hit's impressive, the control's impressive, and the way that it handles friction is especially impressive. This ball will need a huge amount of oil to be viable at box surface, however, or a very low rev and or high speed game, or you know, quite possibly half a bottle of polish, but uh, fortunately I have a lot of tournaments coming up. Hopefully some of them are soupy because I love the way this ball reacts and would gladly take any opportunity I can to throw it. The Sherlock releases March 14th. Buying one would be elementary.